Hi everyone, welcome to the Book of Jane where spa-ing is a verb. Okay, I got lots to tell you. So recently just got back from Spain and I visited two spas there. And uh, one was spectacular and one wasn't so spectacular, um, but both experiences were okay and good. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you um, about my experience um, at a spa in Barcelona called Airs Thermal Bath. Now this is a chain of um, bath, they call themselves a bathhouse, they don't like the word spa. Um, Chicago, London, New York, Barcelona, um, I, uh, Copenhagen, they are an international uh, chain of spas, not spas, bathhouses. So what I do when I take off um, into the world, I am a trip advisor person. I like TripAdvisor. They have never let me down and I feel like the reviews are really current and have always treated us right. All the the people that we've dealt with like on tours have been delightful and so I'm just a big fan of TripAdvisor. So that's where I started. We were going to be in Barcelona for a day and a half and so I was like we are going to spa in Barcelona. So I'm tapping away. And so um, this business pops right up and I was like, oh, well, there it is. So long story short, we spent the day touring Barcelona. Um, you cannot, you don't, you never have enough time in cities like this, in my opinion. And you're just overwhelmed with things to experience and see and look at and taste. And I mean, it was just like a whirlwind of a day, right? So what I did, because I knew we booked a TripAdvisor uh, trip, like an all day tour with a tour guide um, from like nine to five. So what I did was I booked the Airs thermal baths for 7 p.m. that night. So what happened was, is we were kind of resting. We had gotten back to the hotel and I, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna call the spa and see if we can just go in early and you know, see if we can just get in the, in the hot, in the waters early. So I went down to the concierge at the hotel and he's calling for me and he's like, uh, you don't have a reservation with this spa. And I said, oh yeah, I do. And I pulled up my phone and there it is on my magic box and he's like, He's, and I'm like, I'm getting a little nervous because our appointment's at seven and it's about 6.30 right now because it was a seven minute taxi ride to the spa because I map quested it because I'm fancy and I know how to do all that now. So, um, I'm sitting there across from the concierge and he goes, um, you booked at the spa that is an hour from the hotel. I said, oh no, no, I wouldn't have done that. No, I didn't. He's like, yeah, you don't have an appointment for the one that's that's in the neighborhood. And I was like, what, what? He goes, if you leave right now, you can probably make it. I will call the spa out there and tell them you're gonna be 15 minutes late. And I'm like, he goes, I'll get you a taxi. And I was like, okay. So we get in this taxi and I'm thinking to myself, oh, my stars and garters, we are heading out into the world, you know? And I'm like, okay, so, you know, we're getting up on the freeway and we're like heading out of the city, you know? And I was like, and you're watching the little taxi meter. Do you know what I mean? You're watching the taxi meter. Like, I'm thinking, holy mamas. And so I said to the gentleman who was driving out there, I said, sir, now, if you're not able to come and get us after we do this massage and, and in the waters, we just need to turn around right now and go back to the hotel. And he goes, and so he calls his supervisor, I don't know, the, you know, people, and, and he goes, no, I, I can do it. I can come and get you. And so we negotiated with him. You know, he's going to drop us off, and he's going to pick us up at 930 out there, and it's not, he's going to get us back to the hotel. Because I envisioned us being, like, out <laughs> be able to get back so we are we're like doing this in the in the little prius in the taxi and we're going up to these and we're going by these vineyards and we're you know we are like getting out there you know and i'm thinking to myself oh my stars how did i make this mistake you know so i'm a little flustered 
he got us out there. We pull up, we walk into the lobby and she goes, hello. And we said, hello. And so we were just kind of trying to communicate with her what had happened. So we get in, get, get our lockers, get our swimsuits on and we walk out into the baths and it is stunningly beautiful. <laughs> like and I'm like okay we'll be all right this is this is okay we're good it's okay let's just relax a little bit you know we're, we'll be fine so so we get in the first water in the first uh bath and it is the same level of salt that's in the dead sea so you just float and I'm like okay this is nice and it's very dark and they have candles lit and it's very quiet. They would not let me take my phone. And I, you know, there's no cameras. I'm like, I gotcha. No, no cameras at all, you know. And and so we were, we were kind of like calm a little bit. And so you're kind of floating through the pools. You know, the temperatures are changing. They have a cold plunge. You know, we're sort of working our way through the pools. Now we had a 45 minute relaxation mas massage booked as well. So we get called up into the treatment rooms and we get on the table and I mean, it wasn't fabulous work, you guys. It was it was a relaxation and it, it wasn't fabulous work, but I knew what I was paying for. The total cost for each of us was $131.50. So overall, not bad till the end of the story. So, um, after we have our massage, I say to the therapist, can we get can we get back in the pools now? And he goes, no, you're done. And I'm looking at my watch and I'm like, but, but we have 20 more minutes because we paid for two hours. So we paid for an hour and 15 minutes in the waters and then a 45 minute massage. And I knew we had not been in the waters for an hour and 15 minutes. And he goes, oh no, you cannot go back in there. And I was like, oh. I said, so we're just supposed to go get dressed and you know, kind of leave and he goes, yeah. And I was like, mm, okay. So the amenities in the locker room, in the ladies' locker room were okay. They weren't anything spectacular. I used all the lotion, all the shampoo, all the conditioner, everything. Because I, you know, I'm going to try everything. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like super great, but it was okay. You know, it was all right. So we get out to the front and I'm explaining to the young lady what happened and that I really want to um, talk to somebody about how did I make this mistake on TripAdvisor? Like what happened? Because we had paid almost $60 to get out there and coming home, it cost us $120 to get home. Plus we tipped the guy out $20. So, so it was a little bit of a push then now because we paid almost as much for our taxi ride out there as for our service. And so the young lady was like, well, you know, and I said, well, we've been shorted 20 minutes. And she said, but you were supposed to be here at a quarter till. And I said, but the concierge at our hotel called and told you we were going to be in late. And we literally walked in at a quarter after seven. She said, I'm sorry, you should have been here at a quarter till. I was like, I said, okay, so we're just losing the money. And she said, yes. And I said, um, will you refund us our money? Like right then and there. And she said, I cannot because it was booked through TripAdvisor. And I said, I said, okay, I'll handle it when I get home. So we got back in the cab. We took the very long ride back to the hotel. Put our, you know, put our credit card out for this young man that was kind enough to not leave us stranded, you know, an hour out of Barcelona, out in the wilderness. It wasn't really wilderness, but there was not going to be a cab that was going to come out there and get us. And in my head, I was like, how are we going? I mean, it was like, <laughs> oh, all right. So the end of the story is, A, I am going to link the um, website of this company down below because I want you to go look around if you're in Chicago or New York or London I would go again to this spa but I will just make sure I know where I'm going and I want every minute that I possibly can in that water so I will buy something bigger next time which I will buy the two out like three hour like you know the next package because the waters 
were really lovely. They are co-ed, everybody had a swimsuit on, but that pool, that salt water pool um, that you just floated in was magnificent and I really didn't want to get, get out of it at all. And the hot, hot, hot tub was hot, hot, hot and was super quiet in there and nobody had their cell phones out. You guys know that's a thing with me. Not one cell phone in sight, which that made me happy. So I would say that I made a mistake on my end. Now the end of this story is that I got a full refund on all of that. So I got refunded both myself and my girlfriend's um, monies, all of it back. So they did the right thing. I don't know if it was TripAdvisor or the spot, it doesn't really matter. I feel like they did the right thing. And then after I got home and did the research as to you know what, what I did wrong, is I typed in spas in Barcelona and both of them I think came up and I just I just clicked on one but down in the very really 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 fine print was the name of the city that we were booked at so I don't I don't know what I did wrong but I am a very happy customer of TripAdvisor and um, Ayers thermal baths and uh, would go again um, because they did the right thing and I was happy to say that they did um, and met a lovely taxi driver who needed our tip money to feed his babies I guess <laughs> so anyway it was uh, it was certainly an experience but I'm really happy everything worked out and I again wouldn't hesitate to do it again if I'm in any of those cities um, you know if we just want to go to Chicago for the weekend Let's go and let's give it another try. See how they do. Um, all right, I am signing off for today. So uh, kind of an official robe review, but really just a story of uh, next time I book internationally, I'm gonna make sure I am in the right area. And the funny thing about this whole story is, is when we were heading out there and I asked the taxi driver, and he was very delightful and kind, I said, are, are we still in Barcelona? And he goes, no. <laughs> I like that. So I did, I did type away to TripAdvisor, you know, you might want to change the language on this listing that it's not actually in Barcelona proper. Cause you know, it's a ginormous city, but I thought I had everything covered. But the end of the story is everything worked out would go again don't hesitate to try it click on the link take a look around if you live in those cities i would say take your boyfriend or your partner or your girlfriends and go have a lovely time and enjoy some thermal baths and a nice massage okay signing off for today everybody have a glorious day please subscribe for me as i'm growing this channel and i will do the next review of spaing in spain um tomorrow bye for now